All right, the topic of this lesson is linear equations. And we're going to use a uh, word problem sent in by JB here to use it to uh, illustrate that topic. He said he needed a little help trying to find the three digit number that he was asked about. The information he was given said that the sum of the digits of the three digit number is 15. So the sum of the digits. And then the tens place digit is twice the hundreds place digit. And the ones place digit is one less than the hundreds place digit. And he's supposed to find that three digit number. Now there's a couple of ways to do this. Um, we could use three variables and then convert those three variables back into one variable to actually solve it. But that's kind of a long way around. If we can write this with a single variable to start with, we save ourselves some time. So let's pick one of the numbers to represent x and then write the other two as some version of that. Now it says, it's comparing the tens place digit to the hundreds place digit and the ones place to the hundreds place digit. So I'm going to make the hundreds place digit be x since it's the one that's already compared, it, compared to. So if the hundreds place digit is x, then the tens place digit, it says, is twice the hundreds place digit. So that's just 2x, right? If this represents one, one of them and this one is twice as big, it's two of those, right? Then the ones place digit it says is one less than the hundreds. So that one's just x minus one. Then the other information we have is that the sum of the three digits is 15. So all three of these things added together is 15. So that means that we have x plus 2x plus x minus one equals 15. So now we can just combine like terms. We get one, two, three, four x's. 4x minus 1 equals 15. Move that 1 over to the other side and we get 4x equals 16. Divide both sides by 4 and we get x equals 4. So if x equals 4, then that means our hundreds place digit is 4. Now the tens place digit is twice as big as that, so that's 8. And the ones place digit is the hundreds minus 1, so it's 4 minus 1, that's 3. So then our number should be 483, and 8 plus 4 is 12, 12 plus 3 is 15, yep, that works. So our three-digit number then is 483. There you go, JB.